Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out what are the hidden messages your ancestors are trying to send you. Today is the 6th of August, 2023. Time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is 7.39 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, hidden messages from their ancestors. Now your ancestors could be your late grandma, grandpa, or if you have deceased parents, great grandfather, great grandmother. Okay. Got the King of Wands here in my first at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so um reason why I'm doing this reading is because I recently had a crazy dream of my grandmother so and I felt like she was trying to send me messages so I was wondering perhaps your ancestors may want to send you messages hidden messages sometimes we're not aware we don't know how to interpret the dreams or you know but anyway six of cups they said they miss you <laughs> they said they miss you okay hmm this energy is very pure very innocent um they said that they miss you they they, they watched you when you were a child because this is a children card um i would say that they want to tell you that they're very proud of you because of strength is right here how strong you've been um, and life isn't easy, right? Because this is taming the beast. Life could be the beast where we have to tame, um, or it could be ourselves, right? Could be anything. But I just feel uh, this energy of your ancestors feeling really proud of you for being such a strong person, okay? Very, very strong person. And the death here is in reverse. Um, it feels like this energy where your ancestors could be saying to hang in there, okay? Don't give up yet. Because the death in reverse, death can indicate an ending. But with it being in reverse and paired with the strength here, it makes me feel like your ancestors may want to tell you that hang in there and don't end it yet. Whatever you're trying to end, okay? Whatever you've lost hope. Uh, recently feeling hurt by it with the knight of wands spirit says yours yeah your spirit is your spirit guides usually they are your uh, ancestors as well okay so the knight of wands is you needing to hang in there because this person is wounded right but still standing so everything is gonna be okay that's what i'm hearing and seven of pentacles here is in one first eventually you will see why all of these things are happening to you happening in your life okay and five of pentacles here is in one first and improvement your ancestors may want to tell you that things are going to improve it could be financially for some of you or just how you feel life in general is it's going to improve okay four swords here is in reverse they hear your prayers um they hear your hopes your dreams your wishes because this person is actually praying if you look at the hands it's like it looks like it's praying and with it being in reverse that means here is kind of stagnant there's no movement in reverse that means it's happening it's you're waking up something is going to be shown to you especially with the seven of pentacles here in my verse as well so i do feel like ancestors could be telling you like they hear your prayers and they will do the best that they can to make them come true mm. 
Six of Cups, they also may want to tell you that they have visited you. Six of Cups is a visited, visit, pss, visitation card as well. So they've visited you either in your dreams, at your home, um, or that they've been with you, next to you the whole time. Um, and we got the Hierophant here in reverse. We've got the Six of Swords. Six of Swords and the Death here in our first. Everything is going to move towards Kama Water. So I still hear a lot of like this very strong message about being patient, hanging in there because the Six of Swords is like finally you will walk away or move away from all of these difficulties or challenges in your life. And the Hierophant in our first. It can be, an, it can be an indication of lessons learned. So your ancestors may say to you, maybe whatever you could be going through right now or in the past, those are the lessons that you have to learn. And this is what makes you stronger, right? Strength card. All the past bad experiences uh, will make you stronger because it's a strength card. It indicates strength, strong, just being strong. Let's see more. Three of Cups and look at the hangman here in our first. So things if things have been just stagnant or it's not moving to the direction that you want to move towards or you've been waiting for too long, uh, your ancestors could be saying that, may want to tell you that, hey, these two cards are waking up card, the hangman reverse and falsehood here in our first. So you're just going to see something, okay? I feel like with the Three of Cups, it's something that you are going to be celebrating. You're going to have a good time. People are going to celebrate with you, celebrate you, celebrate for you, okay? We've got the Nine of Cups here, see? So your prayers, your wishes will come true. And the Emperor here, it's, I'm hearing I'm going to make sure of that because the Emperor is a very strong energy, a strong character and also as someone who is in charge, someone who has power, and it's also a major arcana, right? So, hmm. You've got the King of Wands in my first Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles indicates family, so your ancestors may tell you something about like you need to see your family. There's someone maybe with the Six of Cups right here and the King of Wands in the verse. There's someone you haven't seen in a while or haven't talked in a while within your family that you, you know, your ancestors could be saying, hey, go see them. Okay. Hmm. This could be a father or it could be a mother, it's not gender specific, a sibling, six of cups, or just your family in a whole, as a whole, okay? And I like the Ten of Pentacles too, this can be an indication of, you know, financial improvement, marriage, they may want to tell you too that marriage is coming up, um... Either it's someone in your family who's getting married that you might hear something like a, get an invitation to go to this wedding or it's you. It's you meeting your soulmate. Someone whom, or it could also be an ex returning for some of you. If not, it's a soulmate connection. And the emperor is right here. Time to settle down, I'm hearing. Time to or time to pick someone who is responsible, someone who can help you or build a life with you. Um, three of Cups also can indicate, you know, just sometimes some of you, not for all of you, if you're if you've been having too much fun, 
For example, if you've just been having fun dating around, your ancestors may want to say to you that, you know, it's time to um, meet someone or prioritize someone whom will give you that stability where this connection may be may have longevity um, a connection that's sustainable a connection where both of you will grow old together or even have kids or have blended family whether you want to have kids or not but basically this is a, um, a long-term connection growing old together retiring together right building a life together and it also can indicate prosperity um, this team this person could be an Aries right this is this could be that person who's coming into your life perhaps older some of you your ancestors could be saying stop messing around with maybe young people or immature people, whether it's young or immature or people who are not ready to commit to build a life with you and to start giving a chance or chances to other individuals who will be able to provide you. Ten of Pentacles, a long-term connection, build a life with you again. Two of Wands here, Seven of Wands first. So there is something about some sort of celebration again like a marriage or engagement having children either this person already has children or you have children or it's going to be a blended family or you're going to have children in the future any of those things so everything is going to calm down right six of swords if your life has been you know nine of wands where you feel like you always have to defend yourself you always feel kind of restless losing faith right your ancestors could be saying hey all of that is going to be behind you right you can only see these people's behind right and don't give up yet you're not at the end of the road yet <laughs> this is not the end because the death here is in our verse okay i'm also hearing till death do us part some of you are getting married engaged um looks like it's someone either about the same age as you are older than you are if not mature more mature um more mature than anybody you've been with in the past someone ready someone ready to be responsible someone ready to start a family but i see a lot of abundance coming in ten of pentacles can indicate inheritance as well some of you they may want to say some say something about some sort of inheritance Something you have inherited from them. It could be anything but something valuable. Um, don't forget me. I'm hearing. Don't forget me. Keep them. Keep them safe. And so for some of you, these things can actually, whatever you have inherited, these things can help with your, to help improve your finances. That's just for some of you, yeah? Not for all of you. Hmm. Or what I'm hearing also, use it for, use it to celebrate, use it to uh, plan your wedding, use it or pass it on to your future children, Six of Cups. Oh, interesting. All right, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capcom, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, Please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. In the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. I've been very active on that channel. Um, just basically vlogging. I don't edit anything. I just keep walking and showing you guys everything. And people I talk with, food I eat, or drinks um shopping <laughs> check it out if you want to yeah i'm right now in vietnam but anyway take care and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you would like to be notified every time when i post your videos and every time when i go live take care